door. Key. Dad. What's up, YouTube? Dorky Dad here. I know I've been gone a while, and I'm sorry. The last week and a half has been super hectic. Uh, I started a new job. The one that I talked about in the last video, not last video, in a video recently. Um, and we got a puppy. And if you hear that and immediately zone out, I don't blame you, but that's not what this video is about. There is going to be a follow-up video at some point this week about the puppy. Um, full introductions, all that stuff. It's going to be great. So, yeah, if you're zoned out already, just, just whatever, come back. Um, but this, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. This is the third time that I've recorded this one video. And uh, it's because I go back and I, I look at it. I realize I seem like I'm... I am. I'm an angry individual. No! No! Come in wherever you want. And to be a jerk who lays a trap bill for no reason because they don't know how to drive. Right now, I'm at a complete standstill on the highway. Not the point. <sighs> Especially on this topic, but I'm coming off as like mean to people that I don't know. And so I, I'm going to try this one more time. And this is probably what's going to end up online. Uh, if not, then you never saw this. And don't worry about it. But uh, we need to talk, and we need to talk about traffic, and not just, not normal traffic, traffic I get. We need to talk about this crap right here, congestion. What, what is that? What does that even, somebody explain to me, and not, not you know, I, I, I know the meaning of congestion, when, especially when related to traffic, you know, a bunch of cars pop together. Lot, there's a lot of traffic. It's basically what it means. It means there's a lot of traffic. It's blocking the ways. But my problem with that is, see, those little digital signs, they have a point, right? Uh, you know, it's traffic accident ahead, shoulder blocked, or because I live in Jacksonville. Hello, STI. Anyway, because I live in Jacksonville and uh, I, people are jerkwads, lane blocked. Happens all the time. So, you know, you got people get in an accident, they're too lazy or too inconsiderate of everybody around them to move their car out of the line. Or because Jacksonville's been under construction for the last 16 years, they can't because there is no shoulder or median to pull onto. I, I, I kind of get that. When it says that, I can be like, all right, that one, maybe two, however many people were the cause of that, I can get mad at those people. I'm like, those people people just ruined somebody's day. And I'm like, okay, it's their fault. I get it. Traffic. It's bad. It's one lane that's blocked. Maybe two if a bumper went flying off and whatever. I can understand. Congestion just means that the entire city of Jacksonville as a whole is either so stupid or so inconsiderate of everybody around them or just have no business operating a motor vehicle that they are ruining the lives of everyone else trying to commute to or from work or wherever they want to go at that time. See, this is the part where I started sounding really mad and really, really angry. So instead, I'm going to, I'm going to try the calm approach to this and I'm going to break it down. Calm approach. Take one. The first time I tried recording this, I had already been in my car for 25 minutes. <clears throat> In that 25 minutes, I was a mile and a half away from my office. And of course, the sign said congestion on Interstate 95, leading all the way up to where I was going, which leads me to home. There is never an instance that doesn't involve your feet where you 25 minutes and you're only a mile and a half away from where you were when you started. And even then, I can walk. I'm fat. And I can walk a 10-minute mile. So I literally could have gotten out of my car and walked faster than I was moving in my vehicle. And again, I'm trying to I'm trying the calm approach. I'm trying to describe where I'm coming from. I live... 25 miles away from where I work. Uh, even the new job, it's literally like three quarters of a mile to the left instead of a quarter mile to the right off of the same exit. So 
25 miles is how far away I live. That should never, I mean, when even factoring in the small subdivision roads that I have to take to get out of my neighborhood and the neighborhoods I have to go through to get to the interstate, there's no way that that commute should ever take more than 35 minutes, ever. An hour and a half is my average daily commute because of Jacksonville. I'm trying to remain calm. The reason... Yeah, see, instead of calling people out, and I will, congestion, that's the focus of this. Like, if it was an accident, I'd get mad at one person. If it was construction, I'd get mad at the construction. If it, Whatever. But if all three lanes of the interstate are free and clear, and at some points, it's five lanes. Five. If three to five interstate lanes are free and clear of any debris, no backups, no traffic incidents, no construction on the lanes, none of that. There is no reason why it should ever take longer than math, speed limit times distance, for all of the areas. Especially if people obeyed left lane laws. And that's not what this video is about. I'm going to do an entire video on left lane laws at one point. Just because that's just, that's my biggest pet peeve. Because I... Not this video. So I'm going to break this down to make it... Maybe, maybe help drive my point home for those that don't understand why this bothers me so much. So just bear with me. In this world, there are several commodities. Money things, resources, power, I, I don't know, whatever, several, but of all of the commodities in this world, there is only one that if you lose it, you can never, ever get it back, at least still time travel is not in it, uh, because it's time, once time is gone, it is gone. Unless we meant time, time travelers, you know, I, but see, here's the thing. If we were inventing time travel, then whoever invented time travel would be right there right now. They'd just like, Hey, what's up, dude? You're doing this video about time travel. We invented it already. Here's your time back. But that was a random tirade. Uh, no time is the one thing that no matter how hard you try, you can never, ever get it back. So every hour beyond my 30 minute commute, because it's an hour and a half to go 25 miles is one hour each way. So two hours per day that I'm missing with my family and now an extra 10 minutes because I have to make this video or I decided to make this video, but my wife wants me to get food because she doesn't want to cook. I, it doesn't matter. You not what we're here for. Um, so I'm supposed to be getting there getting food right now. Not the point. Uh, yeah. So every minute Beyond that commute is a minute of time that I will never get back with my kids. Every hour early that I have to leave the house before they have school or any of that is an hour that I will never get back with my kids. And every hour extra, every minute extra beyond the amount of time it takes to get home. By the time I get home, my kids are getting ready for bed. That's why I'm getting food for my wife and I. She is already cooking and feeding our children. Well, at this point, she's already done. But generally, while I'm on my commute, on the way home, she is cooking and feeding them and doing all of that to make sure that they are ready to spend time with me when I get home before they go to bed. That's time that I'm missing. So my rant isn't that I don't like being stuck in my car, but I don't. That that's not. I do not like that, but that's not the primary point. It's also not the fact that the one thing in this life that I know that is in my control is my car. And I'm a bit of a control freak. So when I'm behind the wheel of this car, that's why I love cars so much. The car culture, the car scene is because I control this vehicle. When I'm in it, this is mine. And there are other people outside influences affecting that control and it bothers me, but that's not the primary overreaching. Every time you are inconsiderate, of those around you. Every time you break a left lane law and decide to go 20 under in a left lane while everybody's trying to get around you and you're blocking the entire flow of traffic, that's time that you are stealing from somebody. And unlike money, I would rather somebody mug me. 
then take my time because I will never get that back. And that's time that you are taking away from some parent with their child, some brother with their sister. I don't know. And I, the heat is getting to me. It's 101 degrees in my car right now. Um, but so think of that before you become that inconsiderate jerk in the left lane or the guy, there were three cars on the way home that were going, doing 20 miles an hour across all three lanes of traffic. There's no reason for that. If you see that traffic is not flowing, get out of the way. But please just be considerate of other people and their time and, and their lives that you're robbing them of when you decide to be a douche knuckle. But whether you want to be a douche or not, as always, please stay dorky.